Hello and thanks for watching this review of the Movie K2 4K Action Cam. Um, the footage you're about to see is literally the first time the camera was used, a day after purchase, so therefore it's not going to be the best quality, but it will give a genuine first impression of the versatility of the camera and its capabilities, particularly in low light conditions and also very windy conditions, so you'll get an understanding of what the mic is like without any protection or additional equipment. This footage was recorded using a combination of mounts. The frontward facing was from a helmet mount and then the rearward facing stuff that you see was shot using a mount located beneath the saddle. If this is one of the action cameras on your shortlist then I really hope you find some bits of this at least quite helpful and informative. Um, bear in mind, as I say, it's not the best quality and it's not in the most capable hands, but please leave me comments and feedback and hopefully that will progress on to better videos in the future. Over there is Europe's soon to be, I think, biggest bird sanctuary. Uh, and that is where they import all the soil from the Crossrail project, which I think has now run out, to form these lagoons. And then looking back west that way, towards that murky sunset, is Burnham on Crouch. And we are headed over there.
when not in not moving, not in action. And uh, we're gonna see what it's like in low light just to take you for a little tour around the bike. So there she is. This is the custom built front fatty 2011 edition. So we've got a Maxxis Mammoth 26 by 4 inch on the front there. That's an on one steel fat, uh, fat fork. Uh, it's oversized so it can take a 5 inch wheel, 5 inch tyre, sorry, and a wide rim. The light there, that's a Mazine 400 micro drive, it's pretty bright. I used it on a lot of road rides at night. Charge grips, Eastern Havoc handlebars, or are they Havens? I think they're Havocs. Got a Hustle Felt stem, I think that's about 50 60 mil. Very, very short. Uh, what else? Drivetrain, we've got an FSA Comet 32 single crank, and we're running a nine speed Shimano. Uh, and that's a, I think it's an 1134 or 36 at the back. So I've got plenty enough there for most moderate hills. I've got an old nine speed long cage Shimano XTR derailleur. Uh, no clutch on that or anything, it's fairly basic, but it's a smooth, excellent shift. And that's probably about seven or eight years old. That. And then got a Halo Combat wide 26 inch rim on the back there. And uh, that gives me a nice wide profile on the tyre. That's just um, a DMR bike, street style kind of tyre, so I can ride it on tarmac more. But that's uh, 20, 26 by 2.4, so pretty much as wide as you can go. And then, what else have we got? Got a special charge saddle there with kind of air bubbles, like a Nike Air Trainer. Quite supple that. And then a Suntour suspension seat post. Because this is a rigid bike, it gives me a little bit of play. There's a pretty decent Strava segment coming up here, but I'm not sure in the pitch black, given that there's dog walkers down there, this is the best idea to try it, but I'm going to give it a go. So, here it goes. train tracks kiddies. Dangerous business. We're going to see if we can race the train. Here we go. 